This conference will now be recorded. Roll call, uh, roll call, Shannon. Here. Commissioner Gandy. Here. Commissioner Butcher. Here. Commissioner Compos. Here. Commissioner Bowe. Here. Uh, Commissioner Compos will lead us in a prayer pledge. You, know, you want me to start with the invocation first, Ms. Marina? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Join me in prayer, please. Heavenly Father, we uh, ask you that you be with us tonight, Lord. We thank you for allowing us together here tonight, Lord, uh, even considering all the uh, all the problems that we're having throughout this, uh, this uh, world, Lord, uh, considering the pandemic. We thank you, Lord, for still allowing us to be healthy and, and well. We ask that you protect all the peoples, Lord, in Lovington, Lee County, New Mexico, the country and, and the world, and help us to arrive at a vaccine for this uh, this pandemic. Lord, we uh, we tell you, the Lord, that you are blessed uh, and you are a, a Lord of mercy, who through your son gave us a marvelous example of charity and a great commandment of love for one another. Send down your blessings, Lord, upon us, your servants, who generously devote ourselves to helping others when they are called in on times of need. Let us faithfully serve you and our neighbors. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Now the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I salute the flag of the state of New Mexico and the Zia symbol of perfect friendship among united cultures. Thank you, Commissioner. Do you have a motion? So moved. Second. Our motion approved the agenda is submitted. Uh, roll call vote 10. Commissioner Butcher? Yes. Commissioner Compost? Yes. Commissioner Bowles? Yes. Mayor Trujillo? Yes. Commissioner Gandy? Yes. Approval of the minutes is approval of the agenda is approved. <clears throat> Moving on to the consideration of the minutes. Do I have a motion? I'll make that motion. Second it. Motion was made. Second. Roll call vote. Commissioner Compos? Yes. Mayor Trujillo? Yes. Commissioner Gandy? Yes. Commissioner Bowe? Yes. Commissioner Butcher? Yes. Minutes are approved. Moving on to Commissioner and Staff Reports. Wyatt? Uh, Mayor and Commissioners, I have nothing new to report at this time. Oh, yeah, yeah nothing to report. Oh, nothing to report. Uh, does the board have any questions for why? Okay, moving on to uh, Gary. Gary's actually out sick today. Okay. Do you want nothing to pass along? Okay, nothing to pass. Gary is out today, uh, Commissioner Compos. Uh, is there any questions by the board? No. Moving on to uh, uh, Shannon. No, sir. Board have any questions for Shannon? Moving on to Commissioner Bowl. No, sir. Thank you, Commissioner. Commissioner Bernard. No, sir. Commissioner Campos. No, thank you. Commissioner Gannon. I have nothing at this time. Thank you. Moving on to Chief Rodriguez. He had a uh, presentation for us today. James, can I speak real quick? And one. Uh, Mayor, Commissioner, we got a couple of words or two two individuals. Um, you're probably going to kill me for it, but I'll uh, take it over. Um, on August 6th, um, just to give you a brief um, description of what's going on, August 6th, um, officers were dispatched to the residential here in town in reference to the EMS call. Uh, in reference to an individual that was not breathing uh, responsive, um, James and Officer Porras uh, show up. Officer Porras conducts CPR on the gentleman who was able to bring him back to life. 
Um, they get him loaded. EMS shows up. They get him loaded. James is still assisting them. Um, the gentleman ends up coding again in the ambulance. They start CPR again. They ended up um, defibrillating him. And the gentleman ends up surviving. By the time he gets to the hospital, he's awake and conscious. I just wanted to present both of these individuals with the Life Savings Award, which reads, in recognition of your unselfish actions during an emergency situation, which resulted in the saving of human life. Your proper communication of training and experience exemplifies your dedication to duty, the preservation of life, and the service to this community. With that being said, thank you both for going above and beyond. Is there any uh, questions by the board for Chief Rodriguez? I have a question, Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir. How is that? Uh, what's the status status on the gentleman now? Is he doing okay? As far as we know, I uh, checked this morning with the hospital. All they tell us is he was awake and conscious when they shipped him out. Fantastic. Did he suffer a heart attack? Is that what it was? We don't know. Okay. Very good. Congratulations. Thank James you. And Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Is Moving on to Chief Rosardo. Uh, Mr. Mayor? Yes, sir. Go ahead. If I may, I, I just had a question for Chief Rodriguez uh, concerning um, that shooting that we had um, a couple of weeks ago. I just wanted to know if he has an update for us on that. Okay, just uh, one one second. Go ahead and repeat yourself, Commissioner. I was just wanted to ask Chief Rodriguez if he had an update on that drive-by shooting we had uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, they were finally able to re-interview the victim uh, after he was released from the hospital. He is, uh, as what I was told, he is not very cooperative as of right now. So the investigation is still active and uh, we'll go from there. <clears throat> All right, so he did not name any suspects, is that correct? That's correct. All right, thank you, Chief. Thank you, mm -hmm. Mr. Mayor. Thank you, sir. Chief Rosardo. Mayor, Commissioners, I want to congratulate those two individuals as well. Uh, also, uh, next week, um, we should be doing the final inspection for our rescue truck. So it's another point that we'll be adding to the, to the department. Um, and then also, Sims Martin had contacted me yesterday and advised us that they would like to showcase our truck in the calendar um, for Sims, Sims Martin's calendar next year. So they should be coming in Monday to do that uh, photo shoot for that truck. Um, other than that, that's all I have. Does the board have any questions for Chief Lazardo? There's no questions. Moving on to uh, City Manager James Williams, thank you, Chief. Uh, Mayor Commissioners, the only thing I have to report is uh, Friday we we have uh, rescheduled our drive-in movie. I still believe so. It'll be out of the fairgrounds uh, parking lot. Uh, movie starts at 8:45. Food truck should be on site at 7:30. Is there any questions for City Manager James Williams? There's no questions. Moving on to. Uh, City Attorney McMahon. Uh, Mayor and Commission, uh, don't, don't the report. Thank you. Is there any questions for McMahon? Thank you. Thank you. Well, Moving on to a uh, public comment. There is no public comment and move on to the action items. Do I have a motion? Yes, sir. Mr. Mayor, I'd like to make a motion for resolution <clears throat> 2020 
0-68 approval of a memorandum of agreement between the city of North City and Northey Hospital and healthcare worker child education and care. Second. Motion was made by Commissioner Bernard, second by Commissioner Bolt. Discussion, James. <clears throat> Uh, Mayor Commissioners, uh, as you're aware, schools opened back up. It was originally going to be a hybrid model with uh, in-person instruction and a lot of online instruction. Uh, however, with different changes, we all know that it's strictly online right now uh, until hopefully after Labor Day, they'll be able to start doing face-to-face. -face. However, uh, we face the same issue uh, that we did uh, when school uh, was closed early, and that's our essential workers. Uh, mainly uh, city employees as well as our healthcare workers. Uh, we needed somebody to be able to supervise these folks. Uh, simply put, there wasn't enough daycare available. Uh, so what we have uh, worked out is a youth center program where it's a structured environment where uh, students of not only hospital employees but also a few of our city workers uh, can send their children there where it is a supervised structured environment uh, they get assistance uh, making sure that they're able to log in uh, to participate in the online components. Uh, we also uh, <clears throat> provide them some structured activities as well to where they're just not sitting in front of a computer all day. There's two periods. Uh, but normally uh, through some of the, care, the federal CARES funding that they have received is able to help offset some of the costs <laughs> of uh, basically running our youth center beyond what is normally budgeted for and to accommodate uh, the additional uh, supervision needed uh, to maintain a one to 12 ratio. Uh, we were uh, required to bring on two additional part-time employees. So normally uh, has this funding available and this MOA would allow us to enter into this uh, for this particular program and normally will compensate us $3,500 a month until June 1st of 2021. Thank you, James. Is there any questions by the board? Yeah, I have a couple questions. Uh, now you said it's going to be a 12 to 1 ratio? Yes. And how many people are there? You got to hire two part time? Yes, sir. How many are you going to have total? So we can uh, safely, to meet COVID safe practices, uh, we have 70 students mm -hmm. um, total enrolled. Uh, so we basically have four, uh, we had to hire two, so we have a total of six, and these are part-time employees as well. So we're not having to uh, compensate them for sick leave uh, or uh, health care as well. Mm -hmm. So I just I said I had a couple questions. Sure. I wrote down. Uh, as far as the staff, is everybody going to be CPR certified, trained, or whatever? Yes, sir. They are. They all uh, the the newer uh, employees. We still got to get that set up the, of the employees who are there. They are current. Mm -hmm. And as far as <clears throat> how are the kids going to be getting meals when they're there? What's so, going to be going on with that? Definitely. Uh, so one of the things these schools uh, is uh, requires uh, they still provide the basically grab and go lunches at no no cost to these students. Uh, so what we do is we send our empl uh, an employer to over to the pickup site to pick up those meals for those students that day. So the school's going to have the meals all set. Yes, sir. for the yes, students. Sir. Okay, okay. And uh, that's questions I have. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Attorney. Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir. I just had a question for James. Yes, sir. Uh, James. Um, you uh, mentioned that uh, the program will follow COVID safe practices. Does that mean that uh, all the students and all the employees will have to be masked up yes, at sir. all times? Yes, sir. Uh, we require our staff, uh, as well as the students, are required to wear uh, face coverings. Uh, also, uh, whenever parents uh, bring their children by, uh, before they leave, they have to go through our screening, uh, which basically it's a it's, uh, temperature check and to make sure that they're not experiencing any signs or symptoms. Uh, if a child is ill and it doesn't necessarily have to be COVID, it could be anything else. We don't allow them entry into the facility just so we can keep kids healthy. And James, we'll be maintaining social distancing as well? Uh, yes, sir. We have our capacities over there uh, following the, the criteria that we had established at other buildings based on square footage. 
uh, to where basically uh, the occupancy in each room would allow for uh, them to uh, remain at least six feet or more away from other individuals. Okay, very good. And uh, just one last question. All parents, any parent who's picking up their child, if they're going into the building, they'll be required to wear a mask as well. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Is there any other questions by the board? There's no other questions. Roll call vote, Shannon. Commissioner Gandy? Yes. Commissioner Rose? Yes. Commissioner Trujillo? Yes. Commissioner Butcher? Yes. Commissioner Compos? Yes. Resolution passes. Do I have a motion? Mr. Mayor, I'd like to make a motion for resolution 2020-69. Release a grant of lien for 817 West Adams. I'll second that. Motion was made by Commissioner Ganey, seconded by Commissioner Bernard. James? Yes, sir. Uh, so uh, the actually this item and the very next item are related to each other. Um, if you recall, uh, three years ago, we entered into a project participation agreement for the Drylands Brewery project in order to transfer the $100,000 in state economic development incentives to them. Uh, part of that particular agreement uh, was that they, the owners of drylands had to put up a security in the event that the project uh, failed, that the state via the city could recoup its funding. Uh, how they did that was uh, each one of the two partners, uh, they placed a residential property or allowed a lien to be placed in the amount of $50,000 in this case, uh, 817 West Adams, a $50,000 lien on this property, uh, which was automatically set to expire uh, December 31st of 2022. Uh, so one of the owners of the property, uh, they are wanting to sell this particular property, and of course they can't because there's an outstanding lien on it. That uh, we contacted the state economic development department, actually they contacted the economic development department, uh, we've been involved in the in the whole process, and uh, the state uh, did an economic impact analysis on the project year to date, and essentially the state has already recouped eighty thousand dollars of its of its hundred thousand dollar investment uh, from this uh, uh, through the drylands project. Uh, what they arrived at was uh, the the state is willing to allow us to release those two liens on that property so long as that we have another form of security. And in this particular case, another lien on another piece of property that they have, which is at the corner of Main and Adams that's used for overflow parking for the property it is owned uh, by them. So we would file that $20,000 lien on that and they would satisfy it. And then once uh, either the state recoups its investment uh, of the additional $20,000 or it hits December 31st of 2022, it would automatically be uh, removed from the property. So what this resolution does is authorizes us to file the release at the courthouse um, and uh, then we'll turn around and we'll at the, simultaneously file the lien on this other property. Sorry, questions by the board. I was <clears throat> losing my question. Is that I wanted to find out were we placing that lien on that property? Yes, sir. First, before we release the liens, or uh, yes, order? sir. Yes, sir. So uh, what we'll do is uh, tonight, the mayor can actually sign uh, the release of lien. We have the other lien that's literally sitting on my desk for them to get that signature, and we'll we'll file them all at the same time. Any other questions? If there's no further questions. Roll call vote, Shannon. Commissioner Bolt? Yes. Commissioner Butcher? Yes. Commissioner Gandy? Yes. Commissioner Compost? Yes. Commissioner Yes. Resolution passes. Do I have a motion? I'd like to make a motion. Resolution 2020 070, release of Grand Island for 205 West Van Buren. Second. Motion was made by Commissioner Bolt, second by Commissioner Bernard. James? Um, Mayor, Commissioners, this is the other piece of property that I was referring to. Is there any questions by the board? 
Yeah, yes. I just wanted to find out where is that new property that you were talking about, James? The property that we did for the 20,000 uh, yes. right there, it would be the northeast corner of Maine and Adams. It's so you have dry land, it's right a major right south. south. Yes, 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 sir. Okay. okay. Is there any other questions by the board? There's no other questions. Roll call vote, Shannon. Commissioner Combos? Yes. Commissioner Butcher? Yes. Mayor Shizzo? Yes. Commissioner Bowles? Yes. Commissioner Gandy? Yes. Resolution passes. Do I have a motion? Yes, sir, Mr. Mayor. I'd like to make a motion for resolution 2020 071 approval of amendments to agreements. C and BP Terrell Capital uh, LAFC Utilities Extension. Second. Motion was made by Commissioner Bernard, second by Commissioner Canty. James. Uh, Mayor Commissioners, if you remember um, back on July 13th, we approved an agreement with uh, BP Terrell Capital for the extension of utilities on North Main for the hotel, retail center, and housing subdivision. Uh, basically, this agreement was created uh, due to the fact that Constructors Inc., who was the chosen uh, contractor by uh, BT Terra Capital, could not issue, their bonding company could not issue um, a bond with more than one person name on it, just for in case the, their product's not installed right. They didn't know who they would have to actually pay off damages to. Uh, so with this particular agreement, uh, so we could remain timely, uh, and also uh, stay within uh, procurement code, the city will be acting as the lead on this particular project with BP Terra Capital paying for any expenses over the initial 175,000 that we, we've agreed to, 150,000 from the local economic development fund, as well as an additional 25,000 for uh, adjacent private property owners who are developing up there. So uh, we approved this agreement after giving BP Terra Capital uh, plenty of time to review it, and they came back with their, uh, their their attorney got back to us on July 17th and wanted to drastically alter uh, basically the whole harmless and indemnification agreement. Um, after much back and forth with this very busy man here and uh, their attorney, they have come up with uh, language which puts this uh, th that protects the city. Um, they've been given ample time to review it. I haven't heard anything else unless you have anything to add. Uh, we are still protected. Uh, it's just with the change to the whole harmless agreement, I sure as heck did not feel comfortable uh, just signing off on those changes. I just wanted to make sure that you all had the ability to take formal action on it if there was any particular public comment on it. But it is ready for execution uh, should it be approved tonight. Is there any questions about the board? Can we have a question for Patrick if you're comfortable with that? Yes. Yeah, it's a type of the uh, indemnification language to, to limit it to the sort of the duties and obligations of uh, BP as opposed to everything else that's happening in the project. So they're responsible for indemnification based on um, their part of the contract, not let's say constructors and their installation. Sure. There's no other further questions. Roll call vote, Chan. Mayor Trujillo? Yes. Commissioner Butcher? Yes. Commissioner Compos? Yes. Commissioner Gandy? Yes. Commissioner Bowles? Yes. Resolution passes. Yes, sir, Mr. Mayor. Uh, resolution. 2020-072 disposal of fixed assets. Second. Motion was made by Commissioner Bernard, second by Commissioner Candy. Chief. Uh, Mayor Commissioner, several months ago, uh, we had a uh, one of our police cruisers, a 2013 Dodge Charger that was involved in a motor vehicle collision. Uh, insurance company evaluated it and they totaled the car. Uh, so this resolution will allow us to uh, uh, remove this particular asset from our fixed assets list and accept the payment from the insurance company for the total wreckage. 
uh, so we can begin the process of replacement. Is there any questions by the board? There's no questions. Roll call vote, Shannon. Commissioner Vogt? Yes. Commissioner Danny? Yes. Commissioner Butcher? Yes. Commissioner Vogt? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Resolution passes. Do I have a motion? Mr. Mayor, I'd like to make a motion to consider accounts payable. I'll second. Motion was made by Commissioner Campo, second by Commissioner Bolt. James? Uh, Mayor, Commissioners, uh, we have the accounts payable list uh, for you. Um, I guess I would, uh, well, uh, one of the largest ones, Lovington Economic Development Corporation, 15,000. Uh, that is for our project participation agreement uh, for the retail. Uh, recruitment project that we have partnered with the county EDC on. Uh, the Levington Wellness Center, that is part of, our, uh, for 16418 that is actually part of our uh, agreement with them uh, to help offset operational costs. Uh, right, we're obligated to a maximum of $9,375 per month. Uh, this is basically for a month and a half. We are not being uh, assessed any cost for it. The period in which they weren't able to operate. Um, Odessa pumps 24,000. We had to replace a flight pump uh, at one of our lift stations for the wastewater department. And I would answer any other questions uh, you may have. What pump was that again? It's called a flight pump, F L G Y T. I guess it's like the particular brand that we use. How how would they do it or what? That's what? Would they do it all right? Yes, sir. Hey James. <laughs> yes, sir. What is the participation level out there at the wellness center? Do you know? You know, uh Mayor uh Commissioner Campos, uh that's a good question. Uh I was hoping to have that information today and I talked to the director out there and they did have an error on their uh I guess you would say their invoicing system, how we keep track of attendance. Uh, so he has not issued any uh, invoices at this point. Uh, so I'll, as soon as I get that, I'll definitely send that information out to you. Very good. Thank you. James, I got a question. Sir, who is BICILIC? Uh, BICI, sir, is uh, where they uh, we get chemicals for wastewater treatment. A typo on four rivers. I didn't think they could sell anything that cheap. I'm the uh, Piece of cards there, James. Yes, sir. And uh, I want to know. I'd like to know how they how that works as far as who do they get charged to? You know, I added them all up and it came over to over five thousand dollars. And just wondering what it, whose budget does that go towards, okay. or what does that how does that get a uh, deducted? Sure. So, uh, Mayor Commissioner Bolt, uh, the visas are actually issued to department heads. Um, with the exception of some of our travel cards, uh, which those are uh, assigned to individuals who have to go somewhere on city official city business. Uh, so I do have some, uh, the, the report that I'm a, I was able to generate, it shows the highest expenditure, the name of the highest expenditure, what the purchase order was made out to. The credit cards are essentially used just like generating a check. Prior to us being able to make a purchase, we have to go through the requisition and purchase order system. So, for instance, uh, the first piece of the 999, uh, that was for uniform expenses to the police department. Uh, the next one, uh, 1245, that was for our uh, assigned to our public works department, water and wastewater. Uh, we also had a second visa uh, for the police department. 
this was I'm not exactly sure what that was for. It was Teleflora. Um, we also had on the travel card, this was to take the samples uh, to Albuquerque, but uh, it sounds like mailing them off and using a visa. Uh, 5048, uh, this was public works. This is for a temp gun, temperature gauge gun. Uh, 8621, I believe that was for our parks department. It was a part for a mower. Uh, the back uh, 9280, I have to check to see what the part with that was. This was for the, the largest purchase was for some type of uh, vacuum repair, maybe for so possibly on a truck. 9942, that's uh, that's actually mine. Uh, and so that one always has, uh, is typically higher uh, because like our city email accounts, Gmail, we spend between six and seven hundred dollars a month. For hosting that and that gets billed to my credit card. Uh, the go to meeting fee is $62 a month. Uh, we also have $190 for theater uh, software, uh, but I can definitely get you copies of everything. But that's they are assigned to an individual. Right. And when the visa statements come in, the department head basically has to reconcile their purchase orders to those particular purchases. I was just kind of wondering what budgets they were coming out of. Yes, sir. So that way they're. No one's going to the right. Yes, sir. They are. Very. So, okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Is there any other questions by the board? If there's no other questions. Roll call vote, Shannon. Commissioner Gandy? Yes. Commissioner Compost? Yes. Mayor Trujillo? Yes. Commissioner Gold? Yes. Commissioner Bushman? Yes. Council tables are approved. I'd like to. Uh, yes, sir. Go ahead. Before we go in, uh, into adjournment, um, I just got a couple of questions for James, if I could, please. Yes, sir. So, James, are you telling us that you still have your touch? Oh, uh, <laughs> I guess so. You haven't lost your touch. Yeah. So I've, I've actually been licensed uh, as a well, as paramedic since 1998. So, uh, yeah. I guess uh, I showed up on that. It was literally just probably half a mile from my house. I was on my way back to work for lunch. So that's amazing. Um, is uh, was uh, Officer Porras present today by chance? Yes, sir. He was. Very good. Uh, congratulations once again to both of y'all. We're very proud of you guys, and that's that's a, a phenomenal uh, re achievement. So thank you. Thank you. Commissioner Campos, I would also like to thank you for always dialing in, uh, helping us keep our distance with COVID-19. We really appreciate your participation. Uh, not saying that we miss you here, you know. <laughs> but uh, we So you're, really saying, you're not saying you do. <laughs> <laughs> but we want, to, we want to show our appreciation for you doing that for us, sir. Okay. Uh, thank you, guys. I appreciate y'all. Thank you, Paul. Do I have a motion? Thank you, Commissioner. I'll make a motion that we adjourn. Second. Motion was made. Second. All in favor. A roll call motion. Commissioner Butcher? Yes. Commissioner Leo? Yes. Commissioner Bowles? Yes. Commissioner Compost? Yes. Commissioner Yes, ma'am. It is adjourned. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great week, sir. <laughs>